Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to try something a little bit different. I want to try doing a video without any edits, just pure me talking. Uh, and while I do that, we're going to go on a bit of a nature walk. That's what you're going to look at. So what I've got in front of me is a message that was sent to me by one of my Patreon subscribers. Uh, actually, it was posted in the community section of the Patreon page, and lots of people gave their input. But I really wanted to talk about it because I think it's a, a very interesting situation that's worthy of a lot of discussion. So here goes. Every year in December, a group of my friends book, book a cottage out in the country for a week or so to spend some time together taking part in some very wholesome activities, walks, cooking, and lots of reading. I've been every time since it started about three or four years ago. Last year, there was a girl there that I hadn't met before. She was really sweet not to mention cute, and I grew to like her. One night, the two of us stayed up late drinking Baileys and chatting after everyone else had gone to bed. She invited me to a party she was having a couple of weeks later. We kept chatting. We slipped out to look at the stars. The mood seemed right. I put my hand on her back. Well, I knew straight away that the mood was not right. When you make a mistake like that, you know straight away. She froze up and then said, Well, I'm going to bed now. Okay, I think. I guess I misread that. Ho-hum. She leaves the next morning. She was leaving anyway, and uninvites me from her party by text, with a completely phony-sounding excuse. I would prefer slightly to have... Sorry, I would slightly prefer her to give me the real reason, but okay, whatever. I assume that's the end of it. This year, I don't receive an invite to the gathering. Unsure whether I've deliberately not been invited, or if it was an accident. This happens a lot when you're not on Facebook. I reach out to the guy who organizes it. This is the reply I get. Hey, the reason I haven't sent you over an invitation is because last time you made an advance on the girl and touched her in a way that she wasn't comfortable with. I really wanted to make an environment at the event where this isn't present. I'm sure that you didn't mean it to be like that and I hope that you understand. Now, this strikes me as kind of bullshit. But if I'm not wanted there, then I'm not about to beg to be allowed to come. Begging is not a good look. I would like to discuss it, but more as a point of principle. So, I just thanked him for giving me the real reason, said that I'd be interested to discuss it with him when I see him, and wished him the best. But I admit I was somewhat hurt by this. To be excluded from one of the highlight social events of the year because of one, of my, one, because of one bit of miscalibration stings. I'd like to know whether this came from her, what level of discomfort she expressed that I had caused her, whether she knows that this would be the result and whether she's happy about it, whether he excluded me to protect this particular woman or whether or not he's looking out for women as a whole. Too long didn't read? I touched a woman on the back when she and I stayed up late drinking once and got excluded from a major social event because of it. I think that we need to start by just expressing sympathy for this guy. What a horrible... Horrible thing to happen, in case any part of you is still doubting whether or not you did anything wrong and whether or not you deserve this to have occurred, you absolutely do not deserve it. This is outrageous. I'm, I'm not pleased with her behavior, and I'm really not pleased with the behavior of your friend. So let, let's go from, let's go from the, the beginning. So this woman, she gets hit on you in a really, really... Uh, I would say not kind of offensive or aggressive sort of way. In fact, I can completely understand why you mistook the signals that you were being sent. You were staying up late drinking with this one particular girl. She invites you to her party. You go outside together to look at the stars. I, Just hearing all that, I'm thinking, yeah, it's on. You know, Obviously, you did make a, an error in judgment, so maybe there were some signals that indicated that she wasn't interested, that you didn't pick up on. But this, to me, seems to be an extremely easy mistake to have made, which is why the intensity of the uh, the consequences that have come to you are so outrageous. This kind of situation, it really demonstrates something that, that really bothers me about how a modern society is is set up, in that there seems to be this perception of, among women that if you get hit on by a guy that you're not interested in, that's basically constituting sexual assault. You know, it's something to make a big deal over, and you can, you know, legitimately be outraged. I find that thought completely ridiculous. 
Just because some guy hits on you and you're not interested, that doesn't mean that anything wrong has taken place. Some guy's interested in you. That's flattering. Take it as a compliment. Why you have to be offended and, and make it into a big deal, I find that really, really troublesome. So let's talk now about the reason why this occurs, because I think that a lot of guys don't understand why women are so cruel when they're rejecting men, but there's actually a sort of evolutionary reason, or this is at least the best way that I understand it, is that if a woman considers herself, uh, apologize for all the text that I'm getting, uh, let me put that on silent. So if a woman considers herself just as an arbitrary number to be like an 8 out of 10, and she gets hit on by a guy who she considers to be like a 5 out of 10, well, she isn't sort of flattered like, oh, isn't it nice that these guys are interested in me? She's actually offended because in her mind, she's thinking that other people are looking on in this situation and thinking, oh, if that guy can legitimately hit on her, then maybe she's not an 8, maybe she's a 5. And so it's offensive to her sense of her own value. You see, she's, she's thinking, oh my gosh, people think that this guy has a chance with me? That means that I'm not, you know, as hot shit as I think I am. So what I need to do is I need to be really, really cruel and harsh in my rejection to drive home the point that this guy is acting completely out of his league. How dare you think that you possibly have a chance with me? How dare you like me and think that I'm pretty and, and want to be my boyfriend? You, you know, terrible man, get, get, get out of here. You can see proof of this because women will react to the same situation in completely different ways if it's a guy that they're interested in. So obviously in this situation, she's not interested in him. So he put his hand on her back, and I'll talk about that in a moment, and she wasn't keen, you know, she, she turned him down. But if it was a guy that she was interested in, she wouldn't have had any problem with it. Like, I'm 99% I'm sure she would have liked it. If it was a guy who she'd had a crush on for three years, some really top, high-value alpha guy, she would have been thrilled. Now, the fact that she reacts differently when that occurs, when it's a guy that she likes, is proof that she's not offended by the act itself, she's just offended by the guy who is doing the action. And so that's hypocrisy. That's a double standard. And it's quite interesting... Talk to women about this. I've talked to women about this, and they absolutely own up to it, and they're embarrassed, which is good, because it's one of those social situations, those, those conventions that we have in our society, where we're not talking about it, and so women think that it's completely okay to have this double standard, or at least they're not conscious of it. So do everything that you can to make women conscious of this, so that we can stop this, because you really want women to start being nicer to the guys that they reject. Guys don't necessarily know that they're considered so low value. And if a girl is really, really harsh and cruel in her rejection, it can have a massive impact on that man, like it's had on this particular man. And we'll get to that in a moment. Now, one of the, the videos that really drove home this point to me was, uh, it was an RSD video, Real Social Dynamics. And it was a little, it's a couple of years since I watched this, but I'll, I'll do my best to remember. But Tyler was out at a club and he was giving some advice to one of his students and the guy was going up to this girl who was dancing and he was, you know, doing pickup stuff, you know, negs or whatever. And I think he tried calling her like a whore or, or some other derogatory term. And she was absolutely outraged. She was so upset with him. The rejection was harsh. And you think, okay, yeah, fair enough. Like you don't go around just <laughs> calling women whores in nightclubs. That's not a, not a great thing to do. That's offensive. Except that 15 minutes later, Tyler goes up to this exact same girl and starts hitting on her and is doing really well. She's absolutely loving it. And then he calls her a whore and she's like giggling and laughing like, oh yeah, I am. How, how funny. And that was really, really eye-opening for me, actually watching the exact same girl give different reactions based on the different contexts. What's really funny, I think Tyler was just trolling her at this point, is he brings the original student over and then explains what happened <laughs> to this girl. I've got to find this video. I'll try and put a link to it down below. Or if I can't find it, please someone in the comment section uh, give a link to it and I'll pin it. It's such a funny video. 
And so Tyler's explaining to this girl, hey, you know, this guy just came up and did the exact same thing that I did, and look how much you shamed him because you're not interested in him. The girl was was embarrassed. She, like, hugs the original guy. You know, she completely owns up to it. I just thought it was a really powerful lesson for the woman and for all of the people watching the video. So let's talk about this lack of empathy that she displays. So let's say that he made a mistake. You know, and he, and he he's not in her league or he just wasn't reading the situation correct. Look at the punishment that's been dealt out to him. Not only has he been excluded from this awesome social event, like a, a week in the woods with friends, reading, going on nature walks. Man, that sounds like the exact kind of thing I would love to go and do. And he's now excluded from this because of one error in judgment. And I think that it's really understandable that he made that error of judgment. Now, I would be really curious to know how the woman feels about this. You know, she obviously thought that this was a big enough deal, like she was so offended by this occurring, that she went and spoke to other people about this. Now, how is that possibly fair? Like, gosh, are you not allowed to make any mistakes as a man? Can you mistakenly think that a woman might be into you? And if you're wrong about that, are you then completely blacklisted from social events? That's absolutely ridiculous. And one of my biggest concerns for this guy, you know, reading this story is that he, his self-esteem is going to be really rocked by this situation. He thought that this girl was nice. He thought that she was cute, that they were getting along, that they had a connection. And not only was she not interested, but she's so offended that the rejection came that kind of strong. Now, I, I don't really care how red-pilled or MGTO you are in terms of getting over the need for any kind of female validation. That sort of rejection is going to hurt. That's going to make you go, oh man, what's what's with this? You know, how, <laughs> how um, wrong am I about my own value that this kind of thing can happen? Please do not give in to those thoughts, all right? Women are not good judges of what's valuable. You know, really smart women you know, potentially ones with the same values that you have, very intelligent, very well accomplished, they might be decent judges of what's valuable in a man, but the vast majority of women, this is not polite or PC to say this, but they're not good judges of what's valuable in a man. Can you you see what some women find attractive in a guy? The kind of guys that you would never be friends with, that you would never associate with, the guys that you would basically consider the lowest of the low. And some girls like that. Some girls find that attractive. So please, don't take the fact that this woman is not interested in you as any evidence of what your value is. The way that I basically think about this, and I think any person who has solid self-esteem should think about this, is that if a woman doesn't find you attractive or desirable... That's actually you excluding her because it shows that she doesn't have good judgment. If she had good judgment, she would find you attractive. All right, so, okay, let's look about how he made this particular mistake. He read the signals wrong, but like I've said earlier, I think that the signals were pretty mixed. Uh, you know, he says that the mood seemed right. Yeah, I mean, well, alcohol can do that. Um, we don't know how much of a factor that was, how much he'd been drinking. I don't know if you would put your hands on a woman without an invitation if you weren't drinking alcohol. It can be a pretty bold move. Look, sometimes it can it can pay off, you know. Uh, some women really, really like that. They're like, oh, yes, he was brave enough to just get physical with me because he knew that that's what I wanted. But it is a risky game, particularly in this day and age and all the Me Too and and whatever, and you don't really need to do it. There are other ways of demonstrating your interest or opening up the conversation to move in a romantic direction that don't require putting your hands on a woman before you've made it you know, established whether or not that is appropriate or wanted. So one that I heard years ago that I always thought was quite good is, is just sort of uh, in a flirtatious way, just disqualify her. Say like, oh man, we're getting on so well. I know that we'd be really good friends. Although I have a lot of doubts as to whether or not we'd work well romantically. Or like, you're great, but you could never be my girlfriend. Some comment like that. It's, I mean, it's, I don't know, it's not factual. It's just fun. It's just flirtatious. And she'll giggle and she'll go, why? What's, what do you think's different? And just say, oh, well, you're too weird or you're too well adjusted. I only like crazy girls or, uh, I don't know, you're, you're too similar to all my other previous girlfriends. I don't want people to think I have a type. Just say whatever comes into your mind, um, some ridiculous reason why the two of you won't work out romantically, and you'll just have some fun banter, and then at some point, a couple of minutes in, you can just sort of say, 
you can move the conversation a little bit more. Like, you know, you're actually pretty great. Do you think that we'd ever be romantic? And, and maybe that's the time to put your hand on her back and, and sort of judge from there. But you're sort of, you're giving yourself some plausible deniability in that situation by, by dipping your toe in the water, seeing what kind of romantic, uh, romantic interest there might be there. And if she's receptive, if she's smiling, she's laughing, she's looking at you, then, you know, keep on going. If you're like, if she's saying like, yeah, no, I completely agree. I would never think of you that way. (laughs) Well, you know, just back off at that point and just sort of um, nurse your pride. And speaking of pride, let's talk about the friend because I I really, I mean, I'm not pleased that this girl went and gossiped about something that I would consider pretty, pretty minor. Like if it bothered her, obviously the person writing the story, he's one of the group of friends. He's not some random stranger you need to be scared about raping. Why not speak to you directly? Like, why can't women just take responsibility for these situations? And if you're going to go badmouth somebody over a misunderstanding, why not bring it up to them directly? So, but that aside, how about his friend who just uninvites him from this without even speaking to him? Oh no, wait, sorry, there was an update to this. I haven't included this, but he says that on the way home, he actually told this friend, the one who organized this, about this incident that happened and said that the friend, if I remember correctly, was empathetic, uh, listened and heard his side of the story and then nothing about it for a year and then just uninvited, just like that. And the reason that he gave, it's just... It's just terrible. He's already heard the side of the story. How is it a legitimate reason to exclude somebody from something like this because of a misunderstanding? People aren't perfect. And it seems to me that this friend, I mean, get rid of this friend. I really don't think that he's somebody who has your back at all. He seems to be loving this opportunity to to white knight, you know? He's like, ah, oh, I get to create this safe place for everybody and I get to protect the women from from you you know, as if you're some massive kind of danger, I can guarantee you won't be touching any women's back ever again. That's probably an activity that you've been completely shamed out of ever attempting at any point in the future. And, all right, so what do you do in this situation where where a friend does this? Like, you handled it with, with a lot of class, I think. You know, you sort of said, oh, well, you know, I'd love to talk to you about this. Thanks for giving me the real reason. And, I mean, I guess he was kind of honest with you. But, it did sound a little bit in your response to me that you sort of accepted the legitimacy as if there was something reasonable to be done. Now, I understand that since you're kind of the pariah here, you don't want to act in such a way that's going to make, you know, more conflict arise or be directed towards you. But in all honesty, I think that you should have called him out on it. Don't accept the legitimacy of what he's saying. Say, frankly, your response here is really disappointing. It's not appropriate to exclude me because of this misunderstanding. I would have expected a lot better. Please call me. I'd like to speak to you about this. I mean, that's pretty strong, but I think that if you're going to go quietly into the night, you know, if this once a year event, that's, you know, you're not going to be invited anymore. You're not going to have these friends, you know, at least have the satisfaction of standing up for yourself before you go. Um, because that's where you're going to have your self-esteem intact. You know, these other people, they might not feel that positively about you anymore. But if you do what's right for you, then at least you can feel positively for yourself. You know, maybe even use the language like, man, you're just white knighting and explain what that is. Uh, on the whole, I put a lot of the blame here on the friend. You know, the woman wasn't great, but really, what kind of a friend is this? Anyway, I'm really sorry that this happened to you, brother. Um, uh, I hope that... <laughs> I hope that it all works out for you because it just sounded like such a fun event. But yeah, maybe maybe use your words next time you want to get uh, romantic with a woman before you use your hands first. That's just, not that you did anything wrong, but that's just the takeaway. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this new style of video coming on a nature walk with me. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you let us know what you would do in this situation, whether you've been in a similar situation. If you want to support me, you like these videos, you want to support the creator, check out my Patreon page. That's where I get some of these topics. That's where we have these discussions. Uh, Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you again next time.